Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Britic coming at you fast, another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video, and this is a big one guys. This is the return of sights and strats for Advanced Warfare. Now I already did one of these for Riot Search and Destroy, but Riot Search and Destroy has been taken out of the competitive rotation, so I'm not going to count that one, that was a practice round. This is the first one that I'm going to do. Recovery, search, and destroy. So basically, if you're new to sites and strats, what this is, I'm going to show you all the awesome lines of sites that I know, the strategies that I use with my team in search and destroy, and hopefully this can benefit you guys. Hopefully you guys can see some new stuff. I'll also uh, show some nade spots for you guys on those rushes. And you know what? Let's begin. So... I will be covering not only Search and Destroy, I'll be covering all the game modes and all the maps, and we're going to be doing this for a lot. And all that I ask for you guys is just to show some support. If you guys do find this helpful, do find this enjoying -ness lead is that a word? I don't know. If you find this sexy, then please leave a like. That will help me a lot. If we can get 50 likes, I know this is fucking crazy. If we can get 50 likes by the end of the video, or by the end of the day, no, in 24 hours. Let's just say 24 hours. I will crank out the next video the very next day because I haven't been too good on that. But if we get 50 likes, I will crank out the next video as fast as I can. So let's actually get into the actual video. So we're going to do offense first. So the bomb's right here. I'm just going to pick up bomb. And usually, you usually want to go A. Don't usually go B. And you can go A a couple of times. The easiest way is to rush it. So what I do is I come over here through the dome, I rush through here, and I go down to the platform right away. Now, a lot of people like to cross this way. This is definitely faster, but you're exposed right there. You can see somebody sniping over there, maybe on top of the building, maybe in that sniping spot over there. You can get picked, you can get stunned, you can get naded, but 100% of the time, there's a guy watching that way, and you will be called out, and they will know that you're going A. So if you're going towards A, make sure you go through the dome because then they can't see you. They can't see you cross because you come out here and this train cart thing right here blocks your way, your line of sight. So they cannot see you. So I go down here and here's a good spot I like to use sometimes. Not a lot of people tend to check it because it's just so random. But lying down right here is pretty helpful if you want to wait them out. If you want to do a slow push, see if anybody pushes. You can also see if they get into that corner from here. So this is a pretty good line of sight. Pretty, pretty gnarly line of sight uh, to anticipate the enemy. As soon as they turn the corner, get a few shots up, stand up, and shoot them like that. Because if they move too much to the right, you'll start shooting this box. So anyway, I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. By the time I get to this point, if somebody counter rushes, they'll be at the top of those stairs. So as soon as I get here, I turn the corner and I'm pre-aiming. Pre-aiming right here. Pre-aiming over here. I'm pre-aiming this entire thing. If nobody comes over here... What I like to do is make sure I have mute on, and I like to jump up this way. I don't take the stairs. I jump up this way, and I'm about to show you guys why. If you take the stairs, if you take the stairs, you can be seen by somebody sitting in that corner if you're taking the stairs right here. Because you can't see somebody in that corner from over here. You can't. So you can be seen right there. As you're taking the stairs, your head can be seen from somebody sitting right up there. But... When you are jumping up, you could be seen, by all means, but you'll come here faster. You won't get sniped. And if somebody, you know, if somebody's sitting in that corner, they won't be able to react that well. And you'll just have an easier way of checking that. Now, this is a very popular corner, very common corner. From here, you can watch mid, see if anybody pushes mid. You can kind of uh, crouch and push up this way and watch it without anybody shooting you from the right. But be aware that people will nade and stun you uh, for on the when they're on defense, so... You know, just take your time with it. Usually, I like to rush up here and kind of just wait. Wait for my teammates to get the kills. Wait for them to clear out middle, clear out B if, if somebody's going to flank. You know, they watch the flank. And usually, I have somebody sitting right there kind of watching to see if anybody's back here. These, these guys, or that one person who's sitting back here or sitting on top of that building, watching this area, he's going to call, call out some enemies for me. So while I'm over here, sitting in this corner, he's going to say, oh, you know, there's a guy on top of that building, or there's a guy in sniper spot back there, or, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, and that's going to let me know where to look. So here's a really good line of sight right here. 
you can see somebody head glitching this rock. And usually, more often than not, they don't notice you right away. They can definitely see you and they can definitely shoot you back. But they don't notice you if you kind of peek in here. Just peek in a little bit. And you can go ahead and shoot them in the head. You can also look through the same line of sight to see if anybody's behind this rock. And then you can come over here to see if anybody's head glitching back here, which I will get into later. But always make sure that nobody's up there. And when you're planning, just plant... Plant, I would say, right here. Okay, don't plant right here because if somebody's in that sniper spot, you can see for yourself that line of sight. They can snipe you if you're planting right there. So just, just plant right here. Try to plant as much as you can. And I would recommend lying down, and I will explain that for in a second. So that's how I would do my offensive push. So that's if you're the bomb carrier, or even if you're not, if you're just rushing, that's where you would go. Like I said, you'd have somebody back here, either with a sniper or an AR, checking this out. You would have somebody top yellow watching the middle, or they can go bottom yellow and watch this middle. Preferably watch this middle rush. Because what happens a lot is you might want a guy going this way, head glitching these stairs, because somebody likes to rush middle, perhaps, on the other team, and you can cut them off right here while they're getting to this rock. Very, very good. And you really don't need anybody going tunnel. So in a, in a 4v4, usually the preferred setup is you have one person watch middle right here. You have one person on top of here, kind of watching on top over there. They can also watch middle from over here. Or you can have this person in the back kind of just snipping, sniping, dipping, dodging, knifing, whatever. So there's two people right there. One person was pushed up the way I was pushed up. And the second person, or the last person rather, can also push up, but they can push up this way. Now what you could do, if you notice that the other team isn't nading or stunning you, you can also run up this way. You can run up through here and just do a super offensive push. But again, like I said, you don't, don't want to be seen. So the best way to do it is to run through dome and just to run up this way. Keep hugging the wall so they can't see you coming. And then just turn the corner to see if anybody might be head glitching the bomb. If not, push up. Maybe do a little dash move so the sniper guy can't, you know... Hit you on that cross, just go pew, put the bomb down, whatever. You know, you might be called out, that's why you have teammates. So that's where you want your four guys to be on offense on A. The only time you want to go to B is when you rotate. When you rotate through their spawn. Let's say I got up to my position, somebody rushed middle, I killed them. I killed somebody on the head glitch back there, we got two down. Uh, but then, you know, our guy got killed on the flank. So we're like, oh shit, somebody's on the flank. When somebody gets on your flank on A... That's like one of the scariest things because then you're like, oh shit, you know, what the fuck's going on? When somebody flanks you at A, make sure you watch middle and make sure somebody watches flank. The best way to watch flank is to go down here, plat, and kind of just watch over here. This is a shitty situation to be honest. If you want somebody watching super flank, just have a guy, just one job. They have one job and that's to watch flank. They can lie down right back here in this little corner. They can get behind this corner if they need cover. Maybe maybe just sit in this corner and watch if anybody goes back there. Another really, 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 really sneaky spot is to lie down in this grass. Not many people can see you, and you'll be able to see sudden jumping movements and stuff up there in your top right of the screen. So if you pay attention to the top right of my screen, you'll be able to see people jumping over there. Oh, almost boosted off the map. That would have been hilarious. But yeah, if somebody flanks you, try to push out through their spawn over to B. By the way, guys, these videos are going to be long and in detail, so they're probably going to go 15, 20-ish minutes, just so you know. That's how most of them are going to be. Uh, so, the way you want to push out is, let's say you get people down, and you definitely want to kill people before you push out. If I'm in this position, I'm just going to push out. I'm just going to go balls deep, push out through their spawn, jump on this building. As soon as I jump up here, where do I want to be looking? That's right, I want to be looking in that corner right there. I want to be looking in this direction because I doubt anybody's gonna be back here if I picked off somebody up on this building okay I doubt it you know they might be back in the sniper spot but usually if they are I can peek through that hole that I showed you guys earlier and catch them off guard and that'll just be the the easiest thing to do um so yeah so that's 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 uh that's usually usually there's not gonna be anybody back there so the next person who's pushing up with you might want to push through middle right there push through middle clear out this building down here perhaps and what a lot of people don't know oh shit i think i forgot to turn this shit off okay but anyway uh, what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually sit in this little room you can sit in this room 
You know, I don't think a lot of people notice that. So if you're running up this way, let's say you're running up this way, somebody sees you, they start shooting at you, you're like, oh shit, you gotta dip in this building. You can literally lie down in this corner. I've killed plenty of people that just ran past you. They didn't even check this corner, and you could kill them. I don't know why people don't check that corner, because that thing exists. Alright. So, yeah, anyway, you're pushing up. You want to push through the flank. Eventually, you want to end up pushing through all the way through the back here. And I like pushing through this door right here. Now, pay attention, guys. People can lie down in this grass, in this grassy area, and just be burdens. Just not move. Just lie down and see you run by peek through the leaves, see you run by. It's really hard for people to see you when you're there. Uh, you could also, yeah, I don't know, yeah, usually people aren't gonna be here, but, I mean, fuck it, <laughs> there's a line of sight for you. Also, another place to lie down would be right here, okay, because people can't see you because of this little yellow rock. They can't see you too well. Maybe, uh, align yourself this way. There you go. People won't be able to see you there, so that's a good hiding spot. Of course, you know, a lot of people know about this line of sight for the tunnel, but just in case you don't, there's a good head glitch for the tunnel. And, uh, yeah, make sure you push through this way. Make sure you clear out all of this, all of this before you plant the bomb, and you should be good to go. That should be just about it for offense. Uh, just keep control of Yellow Catwalk. That way it'll be really hard for them to flank you. If you don't know what Yellow Catwalk is... This is yellow catwalk because it's yellow and it's a catwalk. So make sure you keep control of this. Kind of peek out to see if anybody's at B. If you don't want to challenge, you don't have to challenge. You know, just, just to... Sometimes seeing the person can win you the round. Just knowing where the other person is can mean the world of a difference. And that's about it for offense. So 95% of the time, push A and only divert to B if you really want to confuse the enemy. <laughs> like, really want to confuse the enemy. So let's go over... Defense. Let's go over defense. We're gonna switch over rounds just cuz- Oh, wait a second. I right, fuck it. No, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Uh, just to save time. So, defense. Boop, 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 boop. Defense. So, you're gonna start out right here. Somewhere around here. Whatever. And we're gonna go over the nades on defense. Just because usually that's when you want to use the grenade spots. So, start up here. If you want to pre-nade people rushing A. What you're going to do is you're going to spawn, and you're going to go over here. You're going to get up inside this corner. you got to do this quick. You're going to get inside this corner until you're pushing your stick forward and you can't move anymore. You're going to take your crosshair, and you're going to aim the bottom of it right there, just like I'm doing, at that tippy tip where the two walls connect, right there at that tip, and you're going to shoot out a frag grenade. All of these grenade spots only work with frag grenades. You're going to imagine that I have a frag grenade. I don't. I have dead silence. We're going to imagine I have a frag grenade. I'm going to shoot it out. I'm going to show you guys where it would land most of the time. So when you shoot out that grenade, it's usually going to bounce off this wall right here and land right about here, right on this road, somewhere around here, somewhere around here. So if people are trying to cross, you know, the way I told you not to cross, if they're trying to cross this way, they're probably going to get blown up by a grenade that's going to roll right here. Or, again, you can stun them with that grenade or whatever floats your boat. But that's a grenade spot right there. So learn it, master it, utilize it, whatever. If you have a sniper on your team, you're probably going to go back here. This is the easiest way to watch the cross. Uh, so you see if people cross or not. And then, if you don't notice anybody crossing, get behind this rock. Pre-aim that top building because more often than not, there's going to be somebody who peeks it to try and snipe you back. Or to try and call you out. This is a good spot to shoot them from. And this is also a really good line of sight to watch the bomb whether or not you have a sniper or not. Because if you watch it from here, or, you know, you can watch it from here as well, judging that somebody, you know, guards your back there. I prefer this spot just because it's harder for people to see you when you're back here. Um, eh, I guess it's not really whatever. Forget that. But you can see people go on the bomb. You can see people run up and lie down on the bomb like they're going to plant. And then you can just go boop. And shoot them in the legs and run away like a lucky charm leprechaun. Yeah, so here's another good line of sight. And this one's pretty basic. A lot of people know about this, but you can see people that come up those stairs. But I'm going to show you guys something else. Now, if you have hover, this is where hover is really good. I don't have hover on in my class because I don't play like this. But I know people who do. And this is a really good strategy. If you have a light machine gun, if you have a sniper, what you can do is you can double jump and you can hover. Now look, look where I am at the peak of my jump. You can see all of bottom platform. So if you jump up here and you hover, you can pre-aim that at the right time because you only have a limited, a limited amount of time for hover. You can pre-aim that with a sniper or an LMG and you can 
pick people off that are trying to rush A. And you're up here, you're hovering, nobody can see you from over there. So it's golden, it's perfect, it's a really, really good spot. Now here's another good spot, another good corner to use. Uh, you can hide behind this corner and just watch this way, people might not notice you. And then if you want to peek out and challenge the guy on top roof right there, you can. This is a really good head glitch. Um, so that's basically the defense, a good defensive strategy, always to counter rush, make sure you check if anybody rushes this way, the bomb makes for an excellent head glitch, and then if they don't, if you don't see anybody, wait a second, and then just jump out, boom, boom, shakalaka, they're probably going to be right around here, if not, check this corner, but if you just balls deep rush, I mean balls deep with overclock and an SMG, everything, you will most often than not beat them out and be able to shoot them while they're coming down the stairs or when they're around the middle area. So that's how you want to take effect A. A is really easy to guard too, that's the thing. Like if, All you have to do is win your gunfights. You have a sniper back here watching the cross. You have a guy with an SMG rushing bottom platform. You have a guy probably rushing middle, which I'll show you right now. If you rush middle and you slide, you'll have just enough time to get behind this rock and aim, you know, pre-aim uh, pre the bottom. Now, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of difficult to win this gunfight. You definitely have to have first shot and you can't miss because they will have a head glitch and you kind of don't have much of a head glitch because half of your body is peeking out. This is just the best cover that you can get. But sometimes it's so random and so weird that it works. You know, I, I've done this plenty of times and I've killed plenty of people with it. Or, if you just don't want to challenge that, if you're quick enough, you can get into the spot, hide from those people over there, and just pre-aim this. You know, pre-aim, pre-aim this thingy, right here, with, with a little bit of cover, and usually, you can get that kill. You can also watch top from over here. This is a pretty good spot. It's, it's not 100% effective, but it's pretty good, because then, if you get in a jam, just boost over here, and you're boom, you're out of there. You're gone. Well, as soon as you boost over there, make sure you check this area. So that's a good spot to be in. Somebody rushes middle. And then the last guy, just in case the team gets ridiculous, he's going to watch tunnel. He's going to watch tunnel and top yellow platform to see if anybody's over there. And again, he can snipe this. He can use an AR. usually want to have a sniper running overkill with an SMG, have an SMG, and have at least one AR. And then the last guy can do whatever he wants. But at least an SMG, at least an AR, at least a sniper, and then the last guy can do whatever he wants. And that's usually the best setup when it comes to weapons for this map. And, I mean, again, to guard B, it's even easier than A. Literally, just head, have just somebody head glitch tunnel. That's really all you need. Because if you head glitch tunnel right here, they won't see you. If they're coming from over here, they won't see you. And if you want to, you know, fight them, or if you want to look into that room, you can get up here, crouch, and this is a good head glitch as well when fighting people on the bomb. So, yeah, I mean, those are a lot of lines of sights for y'alls. Uh, you can also get over here. Get a lines of sights. Uh, you can also lie down underneath this truck and see, you know, people's, hold on, there you go. See people's feet as they run by. So that's useful. A couple more nade spots. So here is a crazy, crazy nade spot. What you're going to do is you're going to get on top of this truck. All right, make sure the coast is clear. This is when you think there's somebody at A. You're going to get on top of this truck and you're going to aim your crosshairs at this little antenna thingy. Now, I forget, I cannot for the life of me, I forget, this, was, this has been a while. It's either you aim your crosshair at the very top, I think it's actually this one. You aim a crosshair at the very top or at the very bottom. But we're gonna, we're gonna assume that it's top because it's gonna shoot through this thing, it's pretty epic. You shoot a frag grenade and it's gonna roll through, it's gonna go through this like oval looking thing and it's gonna roll. And it's going to land right beside the A-bomb. It's going to land right here. Motherfucker Jones. Right here. It's going to kill anybody planting the bomb on the side. It is pretty dope. Check it out in private match. I wish I had a grenade to show you, but I just... If I switch class, I'm going to die because it's search and destroy. Blah, blah. It's take two hours. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's a nade spot. So, remember the, the pre-nade spot? Remember that nade spot? That can be pretty useful. Uh... There's, that, that's all for the, those are the most important nade spots, in my opinion. There's more, but they're not worth showing, really, because you're probably never going to use them. Uh, and 99% of the time, you know, that's probably never going to use them. And I don't show you guys unless it's something useful, because I'm showing you guys a lot of stuff. Maybe you guys didn't know about a lot of these things. And, you know, 
Always pay attention, just a side note, always pay attention, because there's usually some guy camping in spawn, that's a total possibility behind this rock, or maybe back here, sniping, bottom yellow, this is a good sniping line of sight, but yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for me guys, that's about it, if you wanna flank, last thing, if you wanna flank, flank through top yellow balcony, uh, cause then you can pick the guy off here, you have the leverage on whoever's down there yellow plat, you can see the bomb if you jump up this way, be wary of the flank watchers, <laughs> the watchmen of the flankers, be wary of those guys, and uh, yeah, hopefully this has been helpful guys, the, that's the majority of it, really, if you have any more lines of sights, leave it down in the comment section below, hopefully this has been helpful, watch out for little douchebags camping in this little corner back here, because a lot of people like to do this in public match for whatever reason. I don't really know. I can't even get it right. That's how annoying it is. Fucking stupid corner. There you go. There's the corner. Pay attention to that. Shut up, crickets. Nobody asked you. Hopefully this has been helpful. If it has, drop a like. Remember, 50 likes. We will get the next one out super duper duper uber quick for you guys. And uh, yeah. Remember, have a wonderful day.